Hi you guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie. I am new, of course. Um, today we are going to be recreating this look. Um, it was inspired to me by makeup by Al Alina, Alana. I don't have my phone with me or next to me. My child has it. Also, please excuse the noise in the background. My kids are in the background running around. So yes, let's get started. We are going to be taking um, Perfectionist right here with the Jacqueline, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And with that, we are going to be placing that throughout blend. It's very hard to see, so you might want to, um, you know, build it up. Also, um, the white spots on my fingers, my hands, my lips, um, I have vitiligo. Google it. It's like a skin disorder, defect. I actually recently got it. So, just in case you're wondering, because, you know, sometimes people wonder. It's a lot. We are going to be using... Um, Fierce by Nature by Morphe. I wish I had the names of it. Unfortunately, this had names. I threw it away. It's going to be this little shade here. Back to the Fer Morphe Fierce palette. We're gonna be taking this shade right here and kind of build it up on the ends. Work our way towards the middle area, center. Pause. Period. So before we go any further, please um, like and subscribe down below. Also, if you see my nails, they really janky because they press on. Oh. One happens to fall off, you know, mind your business. We're taking this black shade here and this darker shade here. I'm kind of going to mix it together. Dab, 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 dab. Boom it. This is my first video with me talking. Um, also, when looking at the screen, I'm like always looking this way. For some reason, I don't know why I never look this way. Straight at y'all. Always look this way. So again, I'm sorry. Give me time. Give me time. I'll figure it out one way or another. All right, so now that we got where we wanted, what we wanted, I'm sorry. We're gonna go back to this brush here. And then we're gonna kind of make sure that it's blended. Be very careful when you're working with blocks because uh, sis, it can get real messy really fast. We are going to, um, Cut the crease but before we cut the crease p louise is the one who taught me this trick if you don't know what trick i'm talking about you use this brush swipe it in there cut it then use a q-tip and then wipe it clean vaseline brush get it swipe it i always put it in the back of my hand Excuse me, that was so rude. I just burped. I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right, make it flat, like on your hand. See that? Like make it flat. All right, and then from there we are going to find where we want to cut it. white 
the Vaseline away. See? Come on, figure this out together, y'all. Yeah. Alright, anyways. So, that line that you had already created, just follow it with the brush. We are now going to pick up that shade I had mentioned earlier and boom, so we just place it down. Where the white part is, we place it. So, um, I did my cousin's Halloween makeup uh, last year and I was still new to makeup, of course. Hell, I'm still new to it. Um, I was doing my cousin's makeup last year and I didn't know I never really messed with glitters before so I didn't realize or know that it helps to put like a base down like a red eyeshadow or something and just pile the glitter all together I mean she liked it but I'm not a perfectionist but there's stuff that there's stuff that I wish I could could have done better and that was one that was one of them. We take mixing those two shades together. And then like kind of hit it right here. Pow. Boom skis. See that? Also go check out my Instagram. It is uh, makeup makeup with Val89. these little paintbrushes on um, Amazon I also put glitter glitter glue stuff right there and then kind of hold on you guys because I still have to have to put some more on all right so and we start laying the glitter glue Also, be careful when you're working with glitters, especially when you have contacts on. <gasps> I had originally had some contacts on earlier, and I put glitter on. Oof. And I couldn't take, I couldn't take the contact out because I had these nails on, and uh, I struggled so bad. I felt like the more I blinked, the more the glitter scratched my eye. Sorry. I'll get back in that dark brown and the black again and tap 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 try to blend it as much as you can I'm just, I'm just trimming the um, corners because you know how some lashes they have a little pico at the end do that y voila I see no I don't speak Spanish Yes, I am Hispanic. I struggle so bad. My boyfriend is like uh, fluent in it and um, I try to talk to him in Spanish. It's always a fail because the, the Spanish that my, my grandma tried to teach me, I guess it was like more of a slang. So there's some times where he's saying something or I try to tell him something and he's like, what's that? And I'm like, the broom. And he just laughs at me using the elf super hydrate so cute love the color let me just rub elf
Eye Mix. The NARS in Syracuse and the Fit Me Matte Poreless in 228. Real life stuff. I deserve a drink for that. Um, also, I like to um, go under my lip a little bit. And I got, I learned this from watching Isabella Bedoya. This brush M527 by Morphe. Morphe. Um, it's James Charles brush. It came with James Charles um, little package. I love. Before I was using this uh, old brush. Excuse me. Um, for the longest. And it was smaller. And I was like, I'm not going to need a big brush. I'm not going to need a big brush. And then I tried the big brush. And I was like, oh, life changer. Like this blush though, like it comes off pit real pigmented. And then like after a, after a while, it kind of dies down. But I don't know. I just like that little blush look. guys and that is the this is the finished look um hope you like it 